Welcome back to another quick after work spear mission. Jimmy gave me a call and said he's got a new jet ski and wants to take it out for a spear. So we quickly got down to the boat ramp by about 3.30 and pinned it out to check out the conditions. The water was pretty dirty for our area, a lot greener than usual, but I made my way slowly down to the bottom and I was greeted by a pretty decent sized shark. Alright, so now I'm quickly just going to cut to two days later where Logan and Lawrence and I went out for a dive out off a further out reef. So as soon as we jumped in, on this day as a comparison, it was crystal clear and we could spot a gold spot wrasse from the surface. Ended up having a few nice dives, didn't get any good fish but saw plenty. So I'll show you these clips in between and then we'll get back to the dirty water jet ski dive later where Jimmy shoots a nice big Spanish just before sundown. All right, let's go. That was a terrible shot. So on my way up, I was going to ask for a second shot, but thought, oh no, this could tear out even before that. So I quickly made my way back down, grabbed it, and then came up with a pretty tasty feed. So I hit the bottom at around 18 metres, right in the perfect spot I was going for, just in front of that nice big ledge there. I saw a school of sweet lip materialise and started having a look to see if I could see the silhouette of a jack. I ended up finding one, but he was a bit flighty and with my single rubber I didn't quite have the range to get him. Unfortunately I just skimmed him, took about one scale off. I think if I landed maybe a bit closer to that red ledge or crept over there and hid behind a rock I would have had a much better chance at that jack. Anyways, this next drop I come down and see a small red throat emperor which are a very tasty treat around these parts. So I waited a little bit longer to see if anything else would come around and then a bigger one came in behind him and I missed it point blank. With this I'm not really sure what went wrong, maybe it was a bad angle, but I really think I need to get my rubbers sorted on my gun. Actually, just looking at that clip again just then, I realised I shot just after it turned, which is a bit of a worse angle. So. Usually a fish might come in straight at you and then it will turn broadside for a split second and you have to shoot then while it checks you out because once it swims off you've got a way worse angle, it's a lot smaller target and the fish is like shaking its head and moving. This next drop was a bit of a deeper one down to about 23 metres I think and yeah hit the bottom, saw a jobby, did my little dusting kept low it came straight in turned and then i shot too late again <laughs> you can see i was pretty mad by the way i'm bashing the rock after i missed <laughs> The last 
last drop from this day was an even deeper one. I think it was 25 metres. And I just played cat and mouse with this job fish for ages, trying to bring him in, doing all my little tricks, but he wouldn't come. I just added the clip because I thought it was pretty cool. <laughs> Anyway, let's get back to Jimmy's later of her Spanish. Basically, he'd shot it. We had to go grab the ski because it was drifting away. And then he brought it in for me to put a second shot in. And we landed a beautiful Spanish. This time, I really took my time and made sure I got a nice clean shot so we could land the fish quickly. I didn't want to be repeating that missed shot from the Laurie's Cobia. Fish. Hey! <laughs> it's getting a bit dark. Just watch some video. Maybe we'll have some more jet ski action tomorrow. 